There's been a couple of announcements uh, that have come from Apple over the last uh, few months. Uh, one of them was Siri Ice Free, which is a product that uh, we have uh, very much been involved in with Apple. Um, we announced our first vehicles that have Siri Ice Free. Uh, in fact, we have a vehicle here at the show uh, this week, uh, our Chevy Spark. It's also on the Sonic and it's on a, another vehicle in Germany called the Opel Atom. Um, basically, it allows you, if you've got a compatible iPhone, device, you can bring it into the vehicle, and uh, using a touch of a button on the steering wheel, you can invoke Siri on the device and query things like text messages, uh, ask questions, not to get interactive visually with the device. In fact, it knows that we're in a car, and it won't give you visual responses, but it will provide audible responses back. Um, and, and so it's a way of leveraging that ecosystem that Siri brings in a hands-free eyes on the road, they call it Siri Eyes Free. So that, that was one announcement. Um, the other announcement that was more recent was this whole notion of enhancing the interface between the iPhone and a terminal, if you will, or the, or the radio in the vehicle by allowing um, the uh, uh, audio and video interface from the phone to be projected onto the radio. Um, and so that's an area that we're also very interested in. Um, we're, we're proceeding down that path of, of really getting involved in that technology. Um, there's a number of different streams of technology out there. Of course, that's a, that's a unique one to Apple. There's others emerging as well um, that we've been also involved with. It's another way to give us a sense of how do we keep up with this consumer electronics world while not having to completely reinvent the vehicle because that's, that's what takes the time, that's what we're trying to avoid. We'll do that over time and make the vehicle better, but how do we leverage technologies as they're coming out?